Hey friends, Katie, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my everyday spring makeup routine. I've created this look here today. I really am obsessed with this look. I wanted to do something very springy and just like pink and like fun for spring, something very glowy and stuff like that. So that's what I created today. I decided to film the intro outside because like, I don't know, I wanted you to see it in like natural lighting rather than in my room. And I wanted to change, change up the scenery for some part of the video yeah so we're outside i really like how pink it is glowy i don't really know what much to say for the intro but i just did like my everyday base routine i mean my, my eye routine like my eyeshadow changes on the daily because i don't do the same eyeshadow look every day but i decided to do something that feels like spring looks like spring just something overall very spring so yeah if you want to see how i created this look and how to create this look you're in the right place just keep on watch okay so now into the makeup and everything so so yeah, I don't really have like a go-to spring routine besides what I do for my base. But yeah, I moisturized a couple hours ago, which I will have a vlog style morning routine going up as soon if it's not already up. I have a feeling I will post it later in April just because like I've had like a lot of day in the lives, weekend lives go up recently. So I kind of don't want it to be too repetitive. So yeah, let's just get right into the makeup and everything. So I've been using this the past couple days just because I have it. So this is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I, it's interesting. I kind of like it for around my nose because I find when I put my glasses on, it, my glasses don't really like move around. Like they don't get makeup on them. At least that's what I think. So I've been using this. I kind of just put it like around my nose, like right here in this area where I would have pores. I don't really use it, but I don't think I have huge pores, but if I have even just slight pores, it kind of helps that. I mean, I don't think this is like a miracle product, if anything, but I like putting it like on my nose, around my nose. I just think it helps with the slipping and sliding that will happen with my glasses. I also put it like kind of on the sides of my smile lines, kind of around this area. And then I will just rub it into my skin with my fingers and yeah i do think it helps maybe the slightest bit with the nose that's pretty much all i care about i don't really care about my pores because i don't really feel like i have them i was blessed i do appreciate it so thank you pores gods for not giving me pores but yeah i just do think it smooths out that area and kind of makes the foundation i don't know it just i've been doing it, it might be gimmicky but i've been doing it that. Okay, primers is something that like I kind of switch up on the daily. I can't get my other one. I don't do this step every it's like something I switch up on the daily because I like different primers for different times of the year. But my go-to primers are the Too Faced Tango RX, which I think I mentioned this in my winter makeup routine. Interesting, I know, I know. And then the Wet n Wild Dewy, which will forever be one of my favorite primers because it's just such a good primer. And mixed together, these are beautiful because it gives me a glow, hydrates my skin, which in spring, I just like a dewy look anyways. But in winter, my skin is dry bry which new york winter is like still kind of a thing even though it's officially spring yesterday was the first day of spring fun fact yeah i just like this because i like a dewy look i like to be hydrated i really like this and it looks good under like pretty much any foundation i don't think i've tried foundation where i didn't like this primer combination and this primer combination helps every foundation and then i'll kind of let that soak in for a second and do its thing but look at that glow okay so then for foundation i've been testing this one out which i will have a review if i don't already up on it very soon this is the l'oreal infallible 24 fresh wear foundation i have mine in 405 and i really like this foundation and i love like i think it really does like it's very lightweight honestly whenever i wear this foundation i feel like i have nothing on my skin which is awesome and then i'm i like mixing it at least i've done this a couple times i like mixing it with my l'oreal pro glow which is my favorite drugstore foundation i just i'm hoping l'oreal goes cruelty free this year so i can keep using their products please l'oreal please 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 because a girl is trying to go cruelty free over here this foundation i find is best with a brush since it is very ultra light so like the sponge would soak up product and then i will put this onto my skin i like to kind of like stipple it around my whole 
face mostly around my cheeks because that's where I want the most coverage and then I will just buff it out this is the buffing brush from Real Techniques it is honestly my favorite foundation brush because you can really buff it into your skin and then high end wise for brushes I like the It Cosmetics brush this one which I have no idea what it's called because it literally rubbed off it might be the Heavenly Face brush but I'm not sure so do not quote me on it so I just like to blend this in and I find this foundation combination and even this foundation alone gives me a very nice glow so I love that for my skin then I will go on to concealer now the past couple months I have been using the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer I do really like this concealer I have mine in the shade c2 but I recently picked up the elf 16 hour camel concealer in the shade light peach which I think is a little too light for me oopsies but I do really like it and I do think like I just have to blend more of it to get it to like in my skin obviously next time I will go a little deeper with my concealer but in store like oh the lighting they think they're helping us with those white lights in the makeup aisle no 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 that is terrible so yeah I'm gonna go wet my sponge first because I don't want to just have my concealer sitting in my face okay so my sponge is damp so I'm gonna take a combination of the two concealers this one really like doesn't do much for me because I need to put like a brush in there to get more concealer out literally never getting out anything but I'm just going to dot this on under my eyes and now I'm just gonna go in with my elf concealer I really like this concealer and it's only five dollars I just put a little bit in I mainly focus it like on the inner corner and then I just dot the rest see it's a little too light but it ends up working out in the end so I just blend this and as you see like it is a little too like light but once I put like my powders on and I blend it in I'll just like tap it in really well it does end up blending out to how i want it so it does end up working but i just would never get this shade again now the only reason why i wouldn't return it is because like i just feel like i don't know i just feel like it works fine there's no reason to return it and i also just read the box so there's that and then i also like concealer like down the bridge of my nose so i'm only gonna do a few dots since this concealer is pretty thick i would actually compare this concealer to tarte shape tape better than like most concealers like I feel like most concealers that are compared to Tarte Shape Tape aren't Tarte Shape Tape quality but this one I would compare to it but I actually like this one a lot better than Shape Tape which is how I felt about the Makeup Revolution concealer as well and then I just take a sponge and go all over my face face and everything and I like to do that because it gives it more natural look but also just blunts everything kind of lets it seep into my skin so the pretty much the only place I like to set is under my eyes so for powder I use my Laura Mercier I'm not really picky with the powders I have but I did put this in a project pan to like use so I'm gonna do that I just pat it under my eyes I don't bake or anything like that I just like to pat it under my eyes with the sponge because I find it's most hydrating and I just I like the fact that I use this sponge for almost everything so I feel like it just blends a lot of things together which I think I've talked about in videos before don't I couldn't tell you what videos but I've definitely mentioned that so I just like to pat this all over from lid to my under eyes and my face pretty much self sets on its own so I really don't put if anything much powder on my face I kind of just take a little bit and go over my face just because I don't want my I want like everything to blend seamlessly the only place I really find that I really need it is probably like on my nose or like on my forehead or just around the cheeks okay and then I do bronzer contour whatever you want to call it I'm not very precise on mine sometimes I can be but sometimes I'm pretty lazy with it <laughs> I recently put this in a project pan and stuff out of another bronzer this is NARS Laguna so I wanted to use this just because it's new to me and also just because NARS isn't cruelty free so I really want to get used out of it so I just take a little bit and I will contour my face so the cheekbones or jaw I don't know I don't know terms sometimes I do sometimes I don't and I also feel like the concealer kind of light in my face so this also like adds color back into my so I really like this 
I make sure to go right in my hairline when I apply it to like my forehead. I make sure to press it in my hairline so I kind of just blend it almost in like a circular type motion towards my hairline. And I know sometimes it can look crazy like I almost have a helmet head, like helmet bronzer, but I always go in after and blend everything. I go on the sides of my nose with this brush. It kind of just warms it up. I don't really need super precise. Occasionally I'll go under my lip. It just makes it look bigger. And then I also like to go into my Benefit Chica Pound palette, which is also something I'm panning. And I like to take Hula and Dallas and mix them together and use these now and I usually like to tap it off kind of on my hand because I kind of go crazy and this I will do my cheeks and then also the forehead area I always like to do that and then I will take a kabuki brush and just blend this out because you never want it to be too insane you want your bronzer to be there but you don't want it to take over your face and then I will prime my eyes for eyeshadow which I know eyeshadow primers might be gimmicky to some people but I find my eyeshadow just doesn't move when I do this I know you can use concealer and I do that sometimes but I find just sometimes an eyeshadow primer doesn't do you wrong like sometimes you just need an eyeshadow primer and then eyeshadow is something I love eyeshadow It's like my favorite thing to do makeup wise. So for me, that's something that changes on the daily I've been using my pan that palette a lot this week and just in general So I have an update a current update of this within the last couple weeks if not months So I will have that linked for you, but um, I'm gonna start off with the shade Ivy, which is just a white shade. I usually go into it pretty ham just because I love like, I just want my eyeshadow to be like pigmented. So like using a like white shade really just intensifies the pigment and it also sets my lid. So I'll take that from lid, like lash line lid, all the way up to my brow bone. Okay, so next I will take a Morphe M. 441 brush and I will take the shade painkiller and then also I will take the shade chocolate Soleil and I like to mix these two together obviously tapping off my brush and then I will just buff this into my crease So it looks straight on in my eyes and I'll buff that in. So I like to go from outer corner to inner corner and I will just buff this in there This adds like I guess a transition for any shadow and yeah bronzer can like literally fix anything and today I'm looking to do something kind of springy like I said this is like basically up to this point minus like plus blush and highlight maybe for the most part this is pretty much my daily routine but I want to do something more springy and just fun I'm gonna take my ColourPop it's a pleasure palette and I'm gonna take the color pretty cruel which is has like shimmer in it but I really like this color for the outer corner and kind of just to warm up everything so I'm just gonna put this through the crease and kind of around so I'm gonna go pretty like in there with this like I'm gonna go outer corner mainly and then I'm gonna go in and yes yeah, so that's eyeshadow so far and now I don't know what I want to do. Like, I kind of want to do like something pinky. Okay, the memory card got full, like usual. So, which is fine because actually I did not know what I want to do for my lid. So I needed that time to figure it out. This is the eye look so far. I feel like all my makeup is really marinated in it because I was literally waiting for it to import for like literally probably 20 minutes. So now I'm going to use my NYX glitter glue because it just makes any shadow I apply super pigmented, which is the best thing ever. So I'm just I'm gonna apply this glitter glue to like the base of my lid so from like inner corner to like the almost outer edge and I think I'm gonna use soft glam and the Shanixa Raymix palette because there's like a certain shade from each that I really want to use so I'm gonna use rose pink and then also using dream girl which is a like peachy shade to give myself like a pink spring look I don't even know anymore and then I'm just gonna blend that on the inner oh yes this is exactly what i was dreaming of blending this right in there this is exactly what i was looking for so just from inner corner out i guess and i'm just gonna make sure that i get like the pigment i want i always blend it into my lash line i find like sometimes you see looks and people don't do that and i don't get how you can literally hear my brother talking to skoda then take setting spray and do that to like intensify it even further 
And then going back in with pretty rule. We blend out edges and then taking a tiny bit of sugar coated for like the center of the lid. It kind of gives like a light look to it. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm doing champagne truffle and sugar coated as like the highlight of the inner corners. And that's the eye look. I really like it. Like I didn't know like my expectations, but like going into it, but now I'm like obsessed. Like I just have to do this the whole time because I'm obsessed. Okay, then for blush using Panlet Palette, Panlet Face Palette, my pan palette, Panlet Face Palette, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna take Rockator. This is the perfect Grizzly Happy Kalucky blush. Then, like I was talking about earlier, I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Waters Prep Set and Refresh. I like to use this before I do highlight because it gives you like that wham bam highlight look. And it also just like gives me like a glow. And then I just a shower in that and highlight is where i struggle with like what to use okay so sometimes i like but in wild blossom glow you set recently and that was really good sometimes i like the becca the shimmering skin perfection rose quartz like a pinkyish color sometimes it's anastasia and marisi that's a pretty one i guess i'll mix these two i don't know i can't make up my mind ever with highlight Ooh, that's pretty good choice katie and i'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones like so and i like to kind of put this like on the center of my face i actually like to glow everywhere i literally don't care and i'm gonna take blossom glow and go right here to highlight my inner corners even further and also taking it on my pinky and going here to highlight my brow bone yes and then i do my brows like as the last couple steps i use the essence make me brow nothing has really changed in within the last year this is something in my routine that never changes love this brow product it is dirt cheap or like just really cheap and it works really well so this is something i don't think i can ever change with my routine i really like this then we're getting closer to like mascara so next i like to use eyeliner i mean i don't do this every day but i do this like a lot i'm breaking it clearly to take this brown eyeliner from ColourPop, this is their cream gel liner in Mr. Bang. And I like to take this and I like to put it on my tight line, aka the upper waterline. This is super hard to do and super uncomfortable. But if it can make my eyelashes look super bomb, I will do it every and any day. And I don't always do this step, but I do like this step. I've done it for years. I just don't do this on the daily. It's like when I really want to try. I'll put like the nude on my waterline. And yes, I pull it down. I don't get how people do it and don't pull their eyelid down. I'll take the wrinkles. I'll take them. And then mascara. This is something I change up like literally all the time because I'm always trying something new out and I'm like also consistently I consistently I don't know I change my mascara up all the time because I'm always trying new mascaras I always have a mascara to try but this I always use too because I like it it's my false eyelash effect I don't always use a curler so this is something that I don't always do but I want to today so I'm using this cheapo eyelash curler from Marshalls but it works just as well as like any other eyelash curler and yeah it does make like, my eyelashes better but like I can take it or leave it so the mascaras I've been using recently are the Marc Jacobs Velvet Neor Ma Ma Major Volume Mascara why oh, such a long name nobody cares it's just like a hourglass shaped brush which I always take all the clump and get them off this one's super comfy which i don't know how i feel about that and then after that i will take the clinique high impact mascara the elevating mascara and this is just like a rubber bristle wand where i think this one is like a natural bristle wand maybe i'm wrong about this i don't know what i'm talking about but let's just montage mascara Your story is to come from the where I struggle like I always like find myself like 
using so many different things for lips like seriously lately i've been using the ultra bladder lip from colourpop this is in party wave i like this color but i feel like it would look way too much on this look i also have a bunch of lip products in my pan project pan but i feel like a nude would look best for this look so that's what i'm gonna do i'm using bite beauty Honeycomb, which is my like go-to happy nude. And then I'm gonna put the Sephora lip gloss over it. I've been loving a glossy look recently, so that's what we're gonna do. And so this is the makeup. I'm obsessed with the eyes. Like, look at that. And I just love the face. Okay, so I'm gonna go put on real clothes, fix my hair, and then I will be back with the intro and outro. And yeah, like I said, this is a the makeup look and everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing my spring very spring makeup and just seeing my whole get ready me what i'm currently doing with my face and stuff like that i hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below what your routine looks like i'd love to know what your favorite products are right now let me know and please subscribe if you haven't already i'm posting mondays and fridays i believe i don't know i might have changed my routine when this video goes up i have no idea what i'm doing with my, my youtube life i guess we can call it but yeah subscribe i post videos every week i can't promise that that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day, night, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.